enjoy some retail therapy, but when does the odd shopping spree become a real problem? Well, one person who knows is Helen McNallan from Workshop. She spent an incredible £400,000 on designer clothes, jewellery and antiques and ended up in hospital because of her addiction. Well, Helen's now helping others with similar problems and she's here with me this evening. Well, firstly, Helen, I'm the first to admit I love shopping, but what happened to you got totally out of control, didn't it? I think most people, most women like shopping, but mine was because of an illness. The illness came first and um, bipolar depression, the mania, um, sent me to extremes in antisocial behaviour and shopping and partying and um, exercising. Everything's in excess and um, so it wasn't, uh, it was to try and control my mood. Just tell me about the shopping spree, the excessive spending. Yeah, pointless spending on pictures and furniture and earrings, jewellery, bags that um, is really inexplainable. It's quite sickening, um, but it, that's when it is, it, it is a problem. I mean, like I said, there's a total difference between mm. enjoying shopping and, you know, nearly bankrupting yourself and your... That, that's when it's a problem. And it cost you your marriage. So when did, did. you realise you, you had a problem and you had to stop? People realised before I did, uh, when you're ill, you don't realise you're ill. It takes people from outside. I finally accepted therapy and... Um, it took a long time, you know, antidepressants, lots of therapy, different types of therapy, CBT, hypnotherapy, um, and I'm lucky enough to have come through it. I was going to say, you have managed to turn your, your life around and you're now helping others. How have you managed to do that? Um, well, the NHS have asked me to get involved in there um, on a local level with the World Mental Health Day at the Crossing in Workshop. Mind will be there, other charities. It's about positively tackling and celebrating the tackling of mental health. I've also set up a website for people to ask questions of psychiatrists on there, chat on a forum with like-minded people and, and a book which is hopefully coming out in the new year all to help people with similar problems so go and get help there is help there really is help and it's an illness and it can be treated okay well your website address is on the screen now it's www.depressioncanbefun.com and that is of course for anyone who needs advice it is. thank you it very is. much for joining thank me thank you for having me Helen.